viewers, this is Paladin of Odin, and this is some more Magic the Gathering Online. This is another episode of the Standard Commentary Series, and it looks like we've got green-white tokens versus... Now that I've had some time to think about it, I'm just going to call this kind of deck an Emerge deck, because that's basically what they're do doing a lot of the time. Green-white just fired off Collected Company in response to Ruinous Path on his Tireless Tracker, Found Thalia, Heretic, Cathar, and uh, Duskwatch Recruiter. And the Emerge deck uh, uses Jace, and he's now a Planeswalker, and he shrinks Thalia. Now, I've already done a video with this Emerge-type deck, but uh, it's a very popular deck tonight. Uh, now that uh, Eldritch Moon is out... You know, we're seeing a lot of new cards. Uh, unfortunately, some of them, you know, the art doesn't show up because of reasons. Uh, others, like Thalia, the art is just fine. But uh, he's going all in on Jace to try and uh, knock him down as best as he can. That's three. So if he wants to flash back a spell from his graveyard, he'll have to kill Jace. But uh, Green-White has a pretty good start here. You know, he's got two really nice creatures in play. Uh, the other side has just Jace with three loyalty counters. But uh, Emerge does have Haunted Dead in his graveyard, which he can bring back at any time. Every creature in his battlefield entered from your graveyard. Yeah, so... All he has to do is pay two, discard two, he gets Haunted Dead and Prized Amalgam back and uh, the Spirit Token. Now, that won't save Jace necessarily. Well, it won't save him at all because uh, thanks to Thalia, they all come into play tapped, even if they didn't come into play tapped. And he's going with the Haunted Dead play. Now, the great thing about Haunted Dead and Prized Amalgam in this deck is the fact that you can just sacrifice them for the emerge costs on the new Eldrazi cards because you can just get these guys back ridiculously easy. And, you know, Haunted Dead is a four converted mana cost. That is a huge chunk off of any emerge card that you plan on playing. Shrinking Thalia again. I was kind of expecting him to throw down an Emerge card. I don't know which one, you know, right offhand I would, you know, I would expect to see because, you know, they're new cards. You know, I don't know them very well at all. And these are new decks. So, unfortunately, no deck lists for some of these. Okay, end of turn, Dramoka's Command to kill off the Haunted Dead with Thalia. She's now a 4-3, shrank to a 2-3, thanks to Jace. But uh, unless, well, no. Thanks to Thalia, even if he were to bring back the Haunted Dead, you know, the uh, Spirit Token would come into play tapped. So uh, Jace is going to die this turn. Now the green-white deck has four cards in hand, he's got five mana to play with, and at the moment he is in the driver's seat. Um, the Emerge side only has two cards in his hand, so even if he wanted to bring back Haunted Dead, it would mean discarding his whole hand. So Green-White attacked in, killed off Jace. Uh, now would be a pretty good time to throw down a couple more creatures. Uh, you know, maybe Sylvan Advocate, that way when you get another land, you, you've got a 4-5 Vigilance. Uh, Duskwatch Recruiter, that's another really good play here, especially since uh, he has the mana open to use it. And he's still at 20, so even if uh, emer the Emerge deck decides to attack in, he can just choose to take the damage, since, uh, you know, at the moment it's only 4, so... You know, big deal, four damage. But at the same time, I highly doubt... Yeah, I was going to say, I highly doubt that Emerge was going to attack there because uh, 
the green white deck is building an army, and uh, Duskwatch Recruiter found him a Sylvan Advocate, and you know my little pet peeve, it doesn't show up in the revealed card zone. But um, wow, now he's got double Crawlin Horde Howler. So all of his creature spells cost two less. Three drops are now one drops, and so on and so forth. You know, a tireless tracker can be played for one green mana. And he's attacking mostly all in here. He's going in with Thalia and one of his werewolves. Zombies blocking the werewolf, so that'll be a trade. Unless uh, Green White has another Dramokas command in his hand. And he's not tricking, so uh, four damage to the face with Thalia, trades for the Duskwatch and the prized amalgam. And Sylvan Advocate for one. And Sylvan Advocate for one. And now that the Howler will flip back to Duskwatch Recruiter, he still has three mana left open, so he can use it at the end of turn. Uh, end of turn play from Emerge. Bringing back the Haunted Dead. Discarding another prized amalgam and a Sunken Hollow. That's the thing about this uh, Haunted Dead card, is it has a ton of synergies with certain cards. You know, the prized amalgams, uh, any of the mer Emerge cards. Well, darn Pariah. 3-3 three, three Flyer, 3 Black for Madness, and sack 3 uh, Creatures to transform it. It transforms into a 6-5 Flyer, and target opponent sacrifices uh, 3 creatures. So, honestly, at this point, uh, I think the transform would be advisable. Since Green-White has 4 creatures out, and it doesn't matter which ones he sacrifices... All right, he's going for the transform. And like I said earlier about the uh, card art, you know, some of them have it, some of them don't. So making him sacrifice three creatures. Uh, it doesn't really matter which ones he sacrifices. Uh, the emerge side is getting value. And to be perfectly honest, yeah, that's what I was expecting. Though I was expecting to activate the Duskwatch Recruiter before uh, it died. Oh, Liliana, the last hope. A little more aggressive shrinking than Jace. Uh, it still wouldn't kill Thalia. She'd go down to a 2-2. Two, two. Or... Two cards, top two cards from your graveyard or library into your graveyard and return a creature card from your graveyard to your hand. So he gets Jace back. Interesting. And chooses not to attack. He's uh, gonna try and keep Liliana alive. That might not happen, given the fact that he only has one blocker. Uh, all it's going to take is a declaration in stone, and the uh, abolisher of bloodlines will uh, cease to exist. Oh, is he actually playing Bant? Yes, he is. Okay, he just uh, didn't have blue mana for a really long time, so... It's actually Bant Aggro versus uh, Sultai Emerge. And Reflector Mage bounces the Abolisher, which, not a bad idea. Uh, unlike some other cards, uh, it doesn't have a come-into-play effect, so letting him play it again isn't that big a deal. And the transform cost on Abolisher of Bloodlines is a little prohibitive. So, attacks... Liliana with Thalia and no blocks. So, poor Liliana. That's the thing. I, I was wondering about her, whether or not she was really very good or not. 
I mean, a three mana, three loyalty with a plus one ability that can kill a creature is not bad. But mm -hmm. at the same time, how effective is she really? But unfortunately for Emerge, he's at 10 life right now, and Banta Aggro is still rolling. Tireless Tracker. Bant is top decking, but he does have mana open, so he can sacrifice the clue token and draw an extra card. Attacking in with Thalia here. Chump block with the Amalgam. Save himself another 4 damage. And bring back the Haunted Dead. Yep, bringing back the Haunted Dead and... Discarding the uh, Voldaren Pariah, so he can pay for the madness cost, barely. Has to go to 9 to do it, but he's going to get the Haunted Dead, a Spirit Token, Voldaren Pariah, and the prized Amalgams will... Uh... Oh, I thought he had more than one. Excuse me, I thought he had two in his graveyard, but he'll get prized amalgam back as well. Bant responds by popping the clue token to draw a card. And this is just the ridiculous synergy of this emerge deck. You know, and honestly, this one card is just in in this uh, equation is ridiculously powerful. You know, sacrifice it to an Emerge, that's four mana off of the Emerge cost. You get it into play, it makes a token creature with flying, which can prove helpful. Um, it can come back from the graveyard, bringing back things like the prized amalgam. And it to do that, you have to discard cards, which allows you to use madness. And he flipped the Abolisher again, clearing the board. And unfortunately, it's looking like Bant has just lost this game. Abolisher is attacking in for 6. That'll take him down to 13. He also has Jason play. Now, they are both very low on cards. So all it's going to take here to kind of stabilize the board is to get rid of this Abolisher of the Bloodlines. Tireless Tracker. Well, if he can keep that alive, that can provide him with a uh, card advantage, especially at this late stage in the game. And if he had nothing better to do, I would have uh, manned up the Lumbering Falls and attacked in for three, since there's no way in hell he was going to block with Jace. So, there's the Jace play. Discards eight. There it is. There's the second prized amalgam. So, now, when he brings back Haunted Dead, he'll get Haunted Dead, Spirit Token, double prized amalgam. And then, depending on what's in his hand, ooh, ultimate price, thanks to Jace. That'll kill off the Tireless Tracker. And response from Bant is Spell Queller. Hmm. Another new card. I wasn't expecting to see this in the in Bant, but uh, why not? You know, it's on color, same mana cost as Reflector Mage, has flash and flying, same power and toughness. When it enters the battlefield, exile target spell with converted mana cost four or less. And when it leaves the battlefield, uh, return it to its owner's, or the owner may cast it without paying its mana cost. So, a nice effect. So, this guy probably is going to uh, become a mainstay in the Bant Aggro deck. I don't know exactly what they're going to take out to put him in, or how many copies they're going to run, but uh, 
you know, for the same mana cost as a uh, Reflector Mage, and the same body plus flying and flash and a counter spell, basically. <laughs> Things are getting a little tight here, though. Vance attacking all in. He's got a 4 3 Tireless Tracker and the 2 3 Spell Queller, and he's attacking Jace. Bringing back the Haunted Dead. Haunted Dead comes back into play tapped, but the 1-1 one, one token comes into play untapped. And emerges blocking. Abolisher to the Tireless Tracker and the token to block the Spell Queller. So trying to keep Jace alive here. Response from Bant is Archangel Avacyn to give them indestructible. Well, that tireless tracker was just one power short, otherwise uh, he would have gotten a very good deal killing off two creatures. Double prized amalgam. Now the problem is uh, he is he is out of cards. He has uh, no tricks with his lands. All he's got is a 4-4 flying blocker. And shrinking the tireless tracker. Let's see. 2, 8, 14. Ultimate price on Archangel Avacyn. And that is the game. That one really... That was a, a long, drawn-out fight. But... Uh, Oh, he didn't. He didn't go in with the abolisher. All right, Bant passes his turn because uh, there really wasn't anything he could do, one way or another, without you know leaving himself wide open for the kill. All right, he's flashing back. Uh, ultimate Price with Jace, killing off the Tireless Tracker, and manning up the Hissing Quagmire. It looks like this time he is going to make damn sure that he gets lethal. Response from Bant. Manning up the Lumbering Falls. That still isn't going to save him. Dramoka's Command makes it a 4-4, kills off one of the prized amalgams. And that will be just enough to keep him alive for another turn. So, Vant draws his card. And concedes. Wow. That was one heck of a fight. Uh, this Emerge deck is uh, quite resilient. Uh, even against uh, top dog like uh, Bant Aggro. Uh, sorry this video is so long, but uh, I really wanted to see how this one ended, especially considering this is a new deck, and I've been seeing a lot of it tonight. But uh, that was uh, Bant Aggro versus uh, Sultai Emerge, and if you liked what you saw, hit that like and subscribe button for me, and I'll see you in the next video.